Hello, this is Gigi from Gigi's channel. Today I'm going to talk about if, nested if, and the if function. So if function is one of the logical functions to return one value if a condition is true and another value if it is false. So here I have the results of a company. The company wanted to hire few people and they did a preliminary test. So in that test, few of the candidates who scored good score and some of them they didn't do a good job. So here the company decided that anyone who scored above 80 will go to the second round of interview. So here is the preliminary test they have done. So here we can what they are going to do in order to sort out the score, the things are going to be much easier for them if they use the if function. So I'm going to show you how to use the if function. Here I have the candidate name on the first column. The second column is score. The third column I'm going to put the if formula. So we are going to put, before we put a formula, we always have to put equals. And then type in the first few letters. So here if I F and it's going to pop up all the formulas for the start with I so here we are going to select if and now it's asking for the logical test what is the value that we are looking for so here we are going to put one value and in this here column there's a score so we are going to select the first cell okay if B2 B2 is what right now is 90 is greater than or equals 80 so that means any candidates who scored above 80 comma they are going to pass and then close the codes then put comma so if value if false that's the second argument so if they have not scored 80 or scores above 80, they are going to be failed. So we have to put fail. F A I L. And then close the brace. So let me read this formula again. What did we do here? If the score, B2 is a score, right now it's 90. If B2, the score is greater than or equals 80 any candidates who scored above 80 they are going to pass and if they have not scored 80 and above they are going to be fail and then just enter so you can see the first candidate he already passed it and now we need to drag that formula to the all the cells right here all the candidates then the results are going to be very easy so we are going to drag it all the way down so now we can see the first two candidates that's above 80 they already passed the third candidate Mike Benjamin he didn't get 80 he scored less than 80 so he's failed likewise everyone so this is a this is how we use the if condition and the next one you can see we are going to use nested if right here the if function in Excel can be nested when you have multiple conditions to meet the false value is being replaced by another if function to make a further test so here I have some data so these are some scores of the students in a class in grade 5 the first column name of the student second one is great here's the score that they got it so we know in order for the classroom any scores who any student who scores above 90 they are going to be they are going to get grade A and any students who scored between 80 and 90 they are going to be score B likewise so again I am going to put the formula the nested if how we are going to do that it's very easy again just put equals and 
this is also if but we are going to put more if and if select that if there and the logical test value it's a C2 is greater than or equals 90 comma what grade they are going to get they are going to get grade A then that condition is done about 90 is done comma if then if again again we are going to select the same cell C2 is greater than or equals 80 what grade they are going to get they are going to get B so we have to put this codes and that is comma so the third one if any of the students who scored the we have to select the same cell again it's greater than or equals 70 comma what score the grade they are going to get they are going to get C comma you see there are many if here we can put any number of if here if again C2 sorry if we have to <laughs> open the brace if C2 is greater than or equals 60 and what they are going to get they are going to get D comma then what will happen if anyone score less than 60 they are going to fail so we are going to just put fail make sure these codes and everything is very important now another important thing that we need to make sure is we need to close these brackets so how many brackets we have opened here so far one bracket open two three brackets open four brackets open so we have to put the same number of brackets to close it one two three four and you will see the black the last one that means that formula is done so the first student who scored between 80 and 90 he got B so again we are going to drag it to the different cells so just drag it to the bottom likewise let's see what is going to happen okay so this student scored 59 so our condition was what was our condition in order to see the formula just click on any of this look at this formula if any student scored less than D less than 60 they are going to be failed but we have not put less than 50 60 here we just put fail here likewise this is B he scored between 80 and 90 this student scored between 80 and 90 this scored scored between 70 and 80 likewise so this is nested if in nested if we have put many if like you know if 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 how many if we have put so far for this nested if but the last one I'm going to say is ifs what is ifs use the if functions to test multiple conditions and return a value corresponding to the first two results unlike the if function ifs allow you to test more than one condition without next thing let's see how we are going to do the ifs so it's very easy let's do it again let's try it here we are going to put equals ifs ifs and we are going to select that so the logical test it's a c2 c2 is greater than or equals 90 what they are going to get they are going to get yeah now there is no if here c2 is greater than or equals 80 comma what score again to get they are going to get b the third one third argument c2 is greater than or equals 70 
they are going to get what? C. Comma, C2 greater than equals 60, they are going to get D. And anyone who is going to get less than 80, they are going to fail. How we are going to do that? C2 less than, sorry, less than 60 and they are going to be what? Comma, fail. Here we are supposed to put a quotes here, otherwise we're just going to throw up a mistake. Let's see if it's correct. Everything looks correct. So that's a B. So he's getting a B. And we are going to do the same thing, like drag. And let's see what the formula says. So less than 60. This guy, Marcus Julian, he failed because he got less than 60. Let's check the formula again. And it's less than 60. So these are the different functions I want to discuss today. If, if and as if. Thank